Hey everybody, it's Trish Rio coming to you from Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute with another hot tip. Today we're going to do point of care ultrasound and finding the gallbladder. Okay, so as you can see I have the transducer placed on Carson's flank position. I'm in an oblique pro position with my indicator pointing kind of toward 10 to 11 o'clock. As you can see, I'm doing an abdomen preset and I'm using my curvilinear probe. So on my screen here, you can see in the far field those spinal projections with the shadowing. Just anterior to that is my um, kidney. So I like to use this approach for the non-fasting patient to look at their gallbladder because if you came more anteriorly on the stomach, you would probably encounter some bowel gas if your patient has recently eaten. This way you stay away from that bowel gas. So our trick is, our little tip today, is that we're going to localize that kidney in that flank position with our oblique probe positioning to get us between those ribs. Once we see that kidney, so right here kidney, over here is our liver, all we're going to do is angle our transducer anteriorly. So we're going to fan it anteriorly. I'm not going to slide. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stay where I'm at in that intercostal space and I'm going to fan anteriorly. I'm going to keep on going. And what you're going to see coming to the screen is the porta hepatis. So we're starting to see that come in right here. And if we just keep fanning a little bit more anteriorly, right into this gallbladder right here. Now Carson is not fasting. I wanted to mimic what we would see on a non-fasting patient. So notice that that gallbladder wall is just a little bit thickened. And that's because his gallbladder has contracted to help him digest some of that food that he ate. So let's go through it one more time, you guys. We're gonna start in that intercostal space. We have that right kidney in view here. We're going to fan, not sliding, staying in that intercostal space, fanning anteriorly, past that porta hepatis here, and right into that gallbladder right there. From there, you can start to twist your transducer to elongate that gallbladder, making it nice and long. You also can take a more transverse approach. And then if you need to do a sonographic Murphy's, then you can kind of just trace that gallbladder up. I'm gonna just change my hand positioning a little bit. And then we can come into that right upper quadrant to apply that pressure and see if we get the sonographic Murphy's. And that's your hot tip of the day. Now you give it a try. Thank you.